What's up? I'm Jeff Haynes from Tech Bargains, and this is the video review of the Google Nexus 7 tablet. Android tablets used to be expensive, unpolished devices that couldn't hold a candle to the iPad until Amazon and Barnes & Noble both introduced affordable 7-inch devices. The only hassle with these products is that the operating system restrictions and the custom overlays often slowed down the performance of these slates themselves. Google decided to enter the tablet fray with the introduction of the Nexus 7 tablet, which was designed to offer the full Android experience. So how well did the Nexus 7 perform, and more importantly, should you go and get one? Here's our review. The Nexus 7 we reviewed was powered by an NVIDIA Tegra 3 quad-core processor running at 1.3 GHz with 1 GB of RAM. It came with 16 GB of storage and displayed content on a 7-inch HD IPS display with a native resolution of 1280 x 800 at 216 pixels per inch. It ran Android 4.2, or Jelly Bean, and came with a 1.2 megapixel front-facing camera, as well as Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and NFC support. We definitely liked the fit and finish of the Nexus 7, which felt well constructed and sturdy. It had a hard plastic band that looked metallic around the LCD panel, while the textured back has a rubberized material that prevented it from slipping from your hands. While it may be a bit heavier than an iPad mini, it's still light enough for one-handed use. Another thing that stood out to us was just how much and how well the Nexus 7 delivered the Android experience the way Google intended it. As previously mentioned, the Kindle and the Nook might be great devices, but they frequently got performance hits because of custom user interface overlays. They also sometimes have restrictions, like the Kindle's blocking of Google Play in favor of the Amazon App Store. Well, though you might not get some of the custom features that are seen on other tablets, you don't have the restrictions either. As a result, Jelly Bean works quickly, effectively, and awesomely. Another advantage is that the updates get to be much faster than third-party devices. Other tablets have to test their systems with each new Android build or patch, which can take months, but with the Nexus, you're skipping to the head of the line. We really like the speed and the power of the Nexus 7 as well. Thanks to the 1.3 GHz Tegra 3 quad-core processor, it packs serious power, making it much more than a glorified e-reader. You can use it for that, but it's also strong enough to run powerful games to relax at the end of the day. Plus, Jelly Bean on this device is polished and responsive without lag. Finally, Google recently expanded the storage of the tablet, which is a huge plus for users. The 8GB version has now been discontinued, though you can still find some floating around online, in favor of the 16GB version at $199. A new 32GB version has taken the $249 price point previously used for the 16GB version, meaning that the Nexus 7 now has twice the storage for the exact same price. That's a huge bonus for the holidays. The storage, however, is a double-edged sword. The Google Nexus doesn't have a micro SD card slot, so if you don't want to have to micromanage your space, you may want to kick in the extra 50 bucks for the 32 gigabyte version to help reduce your frustration with the device. Are there any other issues? Well, you shouldn't get rid of your camera because the Nexus 7 only has a 1.2 megapixel front facing camera. While it might be okay for self-portraits, it's not the best for other shots, especially since Google and Asus decided to skip a rear facing camera for this device. Maybe it'll be added for the next gen Nexus. Finally, the Nexus 7's display is pretty good in most cases. The 1280 x 800 and 216 pixel per inch density is nice, but it's not the best screen out there, especially when you compare it to some Retina displays for some Apple devices. As a result, it's not really something to brag about. The Google Nexus 7 is fast, affordable, and it's packed with tons of features that help deliver a true Android experience. In many ways, it's exactly what Android tablets and the 7-inch tablet space needed. But while we liked the Google Nexus 7, there still was a lot of room left for improvement, like the addition of a rear-facing camera, a micro SD card slot for storage expansion, and a better screen. These are the only things that keep it from being arguably the king of the 7-inch tablet space, which is why we decided to give the Google Nexus 7 tablet a 4 out of 5. For the latest coupons and deals on tablets like the Google Nexus 7, be sure to go to techbargains.com. To enter our monthly giveaway, make sure you always check out techbargains.com slash YouTube. And to watch our video unboxings, video reviews, and exclusive video features, be sure to go to techbargains.com slash videos.